I'm Bruce McLean, senior producer on Star Wars The Old Republic. I'm here to share some exciting news about our game update coming in February. This month we unveil our latest update, The Return of the Gree. This update features a new advancement path for your character's legacy, Galactic Reputation. You can advance your reputation by completing missions for various organizations such as the Voss and the Gree Enclave. As you advance your reputation, you will unlock special rewards for your legacy, like mini pets, cosmetic armor, and legacy titles. Game Update 1.7 introduces a new event, Relics of the Gree. In this event, an ancient Gree starship, the Grey Seacon, has landed on Ilum, completely transforming the Western Ice Shelf. All missions on the Western Ice Shelf grant reputation with the Gree Enclave. And when you've earned their trust, you will be invited to board the ancient starship itself. At the heart of the Grey Seacon lies a dangerous enemy that will require a full operations team to defeat. I want to say thanks for all the great support you've given our team. We will continue to listen to your feedback. In the months ahead, I'll be sharing the spotlight with Corey Butler to share insight with you on what's coming next. Speaking of Corey Butler, he's up next to give you an update on what's coming in the cartel market. Hi, I'm Corey Butler, producer at Bioware Austin on Star Wars The Old Republic. Well, in January, we added several new items to the cartel market. You may have noticed that uh, we had the Skip Tracer cartel pack hit the market. We added a brand new Incendia speeder that was very well received by the community. Put several new armor sets up on the market, as well as a couple of item bundles, the Newcomer bundle and the Preferred Access bundle, in addition to uh, character slots. So what's next for the cartel market? The Space Pirate cartel pack. Now in this, you're gonna find some very cool and unique items. You'll have a new customization options for your ship droid, as well as some stuff that we put in based solely on your feedback. You guys said you wanted some options for your gear with cleaner lines, smaller shoulder pads. So in this pack, you're gonna find the classic versions of the Spy Master, Phantom, and Trailblazer armor sets. So in addition to the new pack that we're gonna release, we'll also put some new fun social items up on the market. Keep your eyes peeled for the Java Grams. So a quick tip on how to get the most bang for your buck in the cartel market is once you've hit level 10 and unlocked your legacy, jump into the market and you can pick up the newcomer bundle. This is gonna allow you to travel a little faster around places, but then also go to your legacy page and then under perks, you can get the rocket boost. Now this is gonna let you travel a little faster in areas of the game where we typically won't let you ride your speeders. So I wanna thank you all for the support you've given us over the last couple of months. Again, your feedback has been invaluable to us. So please continue to give us that feedback. You can follow us on Twitter, at SWOTOR and use the hashtag cartel market. This is as much your game as it is ours. So again, please keep that feedback coming. Thanks a lot and may the force be with you.